Today, we'll show you how to assemble the main body of the Bitboard Rover. Before we get started, gather all the components we'll need for the project. We'll start by attaching the servos to frame pieces using pins. Each assembly will need one servo, one frame, and two pins. Insert the pins on the inside of the red frame. Next, slide the servo into the red frame and then slide it down onto the black pins. Repeat the same steps for the second servo, only this time make sure to put the servo in upside down compared to the first one. Notice that how the servos are mounted. On the left, the wires go down, and on the right, the wires go up. Next, we'll add some cross beams. Slide the long black beams in place inside the frame on top of the servo. Use one of the long blue pins to secure the beam in place. Repeat this on the other side. Note that the long pin should go in two-thirds of the way, with one-third still sticking out. Now we'll use some L-shaped beams. Place a short black pin in the corner and both ends of the beam. Repeat for the second one. Press the L-shaped beams into place. These act as cross bracing and help keep the frame squared up. Next, we'll attach the front beams. Take two more of the long black beams and add a short black pin to both ends. Then attach them to the front of the red frames. Now we'll take the frame, spin it around, and turn it upside down. We're going to attach these blue beams. Insert a black pin into the first and fifth holes of the blue beam. Then snap it in place into the red frame. The two points of contact make sure it's nice and solid. Repeat with the second one, putting pins into the first and fifth holes. Notice that with the servo with the upward facing wires, you'll have to gently pull those wires down into the little notch as you snap the blue crossbeam into place. Now we'll add a pair of 90 degree connectors. Snap them into the blue frame so that the pins are facing outwards. There are two more beams to attach, each using two pins, and then we can add the caster wheel. Add the third blue beam to the 90 degree connectors by pressing in place. Place two pins into the beam we just added in the third hole from each end. After adding the pins, you can attach the final rear beam. Add two more pins in the third hole from each end. Press the caster wheel into place. Remember, since we're upside down, the steel ball should face up. Now is a good time to turn the rover back over right side up. Next up, we'll add the battery holder. 
you'll need two pins to attach the battery holder. Place two pins into the 90 degree connectors facing upwards. Then add the battery holder by centering it and pressing it down onto the pins. Now let's get the wheels. The rims and tires are just like those on a real car. You may need to mount the tires onto the rims. To do so, press the rubber tire over the plastic rim and work it around the edges until it's fully mounted. Then do the same with the second wheel. Now place the wheel onto the servo. Simply line up the plus on the rim with the servo shaft and press it in place. Then repeat with the other wheel and servo. Now let's install the battery pack. Note that there's a notch on the battery pack holder for the wires to go through. Simply press the battery pack down into the holder, routing the wires through the notch. Now let's install the bit board. First, we'll want to take the micro bit and place it into the bit board. Make sure that the micro bit is facing forward, the LED display facing towards us. And snap the bit board into place down onto the four pins. Here's what our project should look like at this point. Next, we'll turn it around and plug in the servos. Plug the connector for the left servo into the row for pin 13 in the 5 volt blue zone. Plug the right servo connector into the row for pin 14. Make sure that the orange wire faces the number, the red wire is by the plus, and the brown wire is by the minus. The last connection to make is the battery pack. Make sure that the red wire of the battery pack goes to the plus symbol on the bit board. Now is a great time to double check your wiring. Make sure of the correct orientation on the servo wires and the polarity on the battery pack connector. Congratulations, you just completed the physical assembly of the Rover. The great thing about the Rover is how modular it is. You can add all sorts of incredible accessories. But first, let's add a bit of programming to try it out. Follow the link in our step-by-step -step tutorial directly to the code. Once you're there, download the code and then copy it to your micro bit. With the battery pack powered up, the rover will perform a test pattern spinning and driving around. Now have some fun by testing out the rover with any of the many available accessories, or maybe just take it out for a spin with the Rover Remote. All this and more at browndoggadgets.com.